Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about all the products that I have been testing out for a little while now. It's a lot, a lot of makeup, so definitely take a snack, a drink, and I never actually ask you guys to do that because I try to keep my videos really short, but this one is definitely going to be a long one, so I am going to be linking everything down below in the description area. They are affiliated links, so if you guys are interested in using my links you can go ahead and do so and i do really appreciate it because it goes back into my channel but anyways let's go ahead and get into it but before we do please don't forget to like and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't not already and without further ado let's get started So a couple of things that I want to say before we start the video, you can go ahead and check on the description areas for timestamps, but this is not my regular setting. This is my super lazy settings. I love it because everything is just so accessible to me, like right here on my vanity. Um, I'm still sick as you can hear from my voice, but I'm feeling so much better, like physically so, so, so much better. And I actually try to film this look right here, but I just checked the footage and it is completely blurry because I was messing with my camera settings because I was trying to make it better and I end up making it worse and that is just what happened I'm hoping that once I transfer it to the computer for some reason it's going to just fix itself but I know it won't but I still have a little bit of hope you know <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the video now and talk about some of the products that I have been using non-stop and the first things are these right here from MAC these are from the hyper real line and this one is the skin canvas a balm as well as the serumizer and they are just really 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 good amazing for under your makeup just preps your skin so nicely they do have a scent so if you are not into that then you are definitely not going to like these but they are just so beautiful on the skin i thought that this moisturizer at first was a little bit too thick but in reality it's actually really good i think that i just use too much when I first used it. A little bit goes a long way. It just really pumps up your skin. It feels really nice and nourishing, moisturized, all day long and it is so good under makeup so i really have been enjoying those two products so let's go ahead and talk about some brow products i actually use the dominique cosmetics brow pencil and gel for this brow right here and i use the rare beauty brow pencil and gel for this brow on this side and let me tell you let's go ahead and talk about the rare beauty first i really do like the pencil i think that it's really nice and thin i really do like the color as well i am going to I'll again link everything down below and and I love that it's not super, super creamy like the other brow pencil. Absolutely love the brow gel so much. I love the applicator. I think that it's a really, really nice formula that she has because it actually helps my brow to stay in place the whole entire day. The only thing that worries me is that it's a limited edition. I don't know why it will be limited edition. So I'm going to try to see if I can get another one, but it is kind of sad if it's a limited edition product because again it's a really good one so they should really make it a permanent now when it comes to the dominique cosmetic ones again really good products i absolutely love that this is such a weird like square shape but it makes it so easy for those like days that i really don't have time to like really work on my brows and i just want to fill them in quickly this is so good and even when i actually do half the time this is such a good pencil as well love the formula love the innovativeness of it so when it comes to the dominique cosmetics brow gel i fell in love with it right away the brush is super super tiny and that definitely is a plus in my book and now comparing it to the rare beauty that i have been using for a couple of weeks now unfortunately it's not as long lasting as the rare beauty the rare beauty does have a longer wear your brows are definitely not going to go anywhere they do not move with the dominique cosmetics you do have to reapply the long lasting is not there for the eyes i went ahead and use this single shadows from mac i actually started like to just build my own mountain palette this one is cork and this one is uninterrupted and for this look i'm using uninterrupted i also have this teal shade which 
which I gotta say that it's a little bit sheer. It doesn't have the pigmentation that I thought that it was going to give me. And this silver one, oh my gosh, it's like a bluish silver one. And I do have it on my lower lash. Also with a pencil that I'm going to talk to you guys in a little bit. That is absolutely beautiful. I love this shadow right here. Very pigmented, very like unique. I absolutely love it. And this goal, I thought that it was going to be a little bit more oomph. But still really nice. Um, I have no complaints when it comes to eyeshadows from MAC. I think that they're really nice. I just wish that they had a little bit more oomph to them. Um, so I'm still looking. That's why I started to build this palette just to see if I can like test a different formulas. This ones right here are from like the Dazzle formula, um, which I thought again that it was going to give me a little bit more sparkle. I mean, the sparkle is definitely there. It's just very subtle. It's nothing too intense. Anyways, let's go ahead and stick with eyeshadow palettes that I have been testing out. And let's go ahead and talk about this one from Natasha Denona. This is the mini palette. And I told myself that I was not going to get it but i have been reaching for this one i don't know if you can tell but this one <laughs> This shade right here is the absolute reason of why I actually got it, just because it is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. All over the lid with absolutely nothing or just a little bit of something on the crease, it is going to be like your perfect everyday kind of glam look. And this is so like friendly to travel with. I absolutely love it. And the other eyeshadow palette that I purchased that I have been using a lot and also did a whole entire video on and more looks using this palette is this one again from Natasha Denona and this one is the I Need a Nude palette. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, the color story is just so perfect and it convinced me one more time of how beautiful it is and how useful it is and how glam it actually is. When I did my sister's makeup a couple of days ago and I said, you know what, let me just use this palette and this palette alone and she absolutely loved her makeup. She looked absolutely beautiful and I just used this eyeshadows and she was so happy with her makeup and that made me so happy so yeah beginning i was not feeling that palette i changed my mind completely fell in love with it it's just one of those palettes that you have to try it you have to see it in action you have to see the end result and then you're like wow okay this is absolutely beautiful so yeah just in case you were still doubtful about this palette maybe you know <laughs> you might want to try it now. So now let's go ahead and continue on with the eyeshadows. But this ones are right here are from Laura Mercier. And this ones are the matte shadows. So these are like eyeshadow sticks, but they are matte. They are just so beautiful. This one is the one that I have been reaching just because it is so perfect for like every day. It's like a really nice peachy shade. And this one right here is so much fun if you are looking for something that is going to be a little bit more on the blue side, a little bit more smoky, super gorgeous. Again, the pigmentation is totally there. This one right here, it's a really nice and beautiful brown. And this one is the one that I use to create the latte makeup. And this one is, oh my gosh, this one is so perfect for just to clean up your brows. It like brightens things up, cleans things up so nice and beautiful. Laura Mercier's eyeshadow sticks are just really, really phenomenal. I mean, you can see it by the swatches. They are just so beautiful, like very long lasting. Once they actually said they are not going anywhere. And I absolutely love this ones right here for like a super quick or maybe just a base. And then I just add eyeshadows on top of it. But I do gotta say that the ones that I have been reaching for the most is the new liners that she came out with that they also sent to me, which I was so 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 happy because I love like a really nice a brown liner that is just my go-to for today's video I am using the black liner for my tie line and I'm using a blue liner but I forgot that Laura Mercier actually sent me a blue liner so let me just show you those these ones are called the caviar eyeliner and this one is the one that I have been reaching for like so much it is insane this one is in the shade cocoa nice and pigmented I have been using it to tie line this one is in the black shade that I use for today to tie line again the creaminess is in another level and once they said they said they are definitely not going to bleed or anything like that absolutely love it and I love that they sent me a really nice a deep a blue look at that that is just so gorgeous and i did end up adding it to my waterline i did use this one right here from makeup forever that it reminded me a little bit of this one the makeup forever one it just seems to be a little bit brighter but 
they're almost there now i did use this rare beauty eyeshadow stick which it does have a little bit of a shimmer on it and to be quite frank with you it was just not my favorite formula I do feel like it was moving throughout the day. It was not setting in place. And I do prefer the formula for the Laura Mercier comparing it to the Rare Beauty set. See that? So another thing that was not my favorite and I wanted to make it work just because it is like super affordable is this brow pencil from Revlon. And they actually kindly send this to me. But unfortunately, again, it's just not for me. Um, it's just a little bit too waxy. And if for any reason... <laughs> There is like a little bit of lotion or primer around my brows. It starts peeling, like balling out, and it's just not looking cute. It never like sticks to my skin if it's not fully dry or like fully set. And I don't have any other issues with any other brow pencils in my collection right now that act like this one. So for that, yeah, this one is definitely not a go either. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up with the eyes. And I did try this mascara from What's Up Beauty and it is called the Watch Me. Really nice mascara. I think that it's like perfect for every single day. It gives me a little bit of volume, a little bit of length. It's not what I'm using right now, unfortunately, but it is a really good mascara for every day. There's no complaint. It is definitely not like a wow mascara for me to like want to repurchase it again, but it's definitely not a bad mascara at all. It does work for my super straight lashes and it just lasts the whole entire day there's no flakiness or anything so this one is a good mascara just not a wow one. let's go ahead and talk about some complexion products now and the first thing that i wanted to say is this palette right here from makeup forever is absolutely beautiful love how you can just combine everything and just make it work for your skin tone it doesn't matter uh, what stage you are like i was actually using this one especially when i was like changing complexion throughout the summer because i was getting a little bit more tan and this one just worked out for me so well i absolutely love the blendability and also how on they actually last on the skin it just makes your skin look really nice and beautiful you can definitely just use a little bit of it just to cover things up for like every single day and also to contour your face you can use it for under your makeup for like under painting I'm just so happy that I actually tried and I have been reaching for it it's just really great another complexion product is this foundation right here from ysl one of my subscribers asked me to review it and i did i'm so happy that he asked me because this foundation is absolutely gorgeous that is what i have on my skin combining it with another foundation that i am going to tell you about but this one is definitely a little bit more mattifying more perfected full coverage really really nice beautiful like like your skin is perfect <laughs> foundation definitely for those glam days for sure not for everyday foundation in my opinion at least not for me um really really happy that i was able to try this new formula that has like skincare benefits again really nice foundation and the foundation that i use for today's video along with the ysl is this one right here from danessa myricks which is the yummy skin serum skin tint foundation and i do have mine in the shade nine it's a little bit too deep for me but it does end up working out as i am using like concealer and powders and all of that um i do gotta say that this one is absolutely beautiful especially if you are feeling like your skin is super dull if you are more on the drier side i just feel like this is a little bit too much by itself that is why i decided to combine it with the ysl foundation just because this by itself on me it looks like super dewy like a little bit too much for my liking for my skin type i am oily to combination i live in like a super high humidity area i just feel like my oils come through a little bit too quickly but nonetheless if i do feel like i need that glow i am going to be adding this to all of the foundations <laughs> that i own that do not provide me with that glow but yeah this one is a really good one especially if you are more on the drier skin you are going to absolutely love it that is just my opinion but let me know in the comment section down below if 
you are combo or oily if you are loving this foundation oh my goodness i forgot to talk about this primer right here from mac super nice nourishing very very hydrating love this primer so 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 good i'm feeling like your skin is looking a little bit dull this primer is going to like bring it back to life absolutely love this primer really really nice one now when it comes to the fenty beauty foundation stick i was really really excited for this foundation and i do like it but it depends on my skin because sometimes i do feel like it actually emphasizes the texture on my skin so sometimes it looks absolutely stunning perfect for every single day but then sometimes i'm not so in love with it so it really depends on my skin the products that i do need to use like under my skin to prep my skin to make sure that this foundation is looking its best and also the powders that i'm using right on top of it so it really depends i mean it's really not a bad foundation but i don't think that it's going to be one of my favorite go-to kind of foundations if you will one in the other hand i absolutely fell in love with just because it is so super hydrating really nice and beautiful on my skin i do have some texture around here and it doesn't emphasize it and like it just looks so beautiful the whole entire day i do have a wear test on this foundation and also on this one and also on the ysl just in case you guys want to check it out i am going to try to remember to link those videos down below but i absolutely love this one it, it was my favorite for a very long time i wasn't using anything else but this one and so good it just worked out for me so well i know that some people are feeling iffy about it but for me in particular for my skin type for where i live the way that i actually do my makeup whenever i use this i just feel like so glam and perfected and just so good so 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 good i also tried this one's right here i know that this one is definitely not anything new but i love to add it to like moisturizer just to give me a little bit more like tan on my face just because my body feels a little bit darker than my face just because i wash it exfoliate and all of that good stuff but this one right here was actually fairly new and i absolutely love the goldie bright drops from john Kellefin. it's really nice it's like gives you a really nice beautiful glow on your skin not too like tint man in my opinion but it does give you a really nice beautiful glow you can use it like with your moisturizer you can mix it up or you can just use it by yourself on the highest points of your cheeks under makeup or on top of makeup and i really fell in love with this one right here i think that they did such a great job i also tried the mac studio fix everywhere all over face pen and this is so good it's a little bit too bright for me um too light for me but i really do love the finish of it the packaging is not my favorite but the formula it is is so beautiful i do have a whole entire video using Get mac that. products i am going to link it down below Mommy. yeah baby uh. for a powder i have been using this one right here the mac studio fix pro set and blur it's a really nice finely milk powder i do like the shade but i feel like i might actually need something a little bit lighter especially for my under eyes but that is what i have on my skin today it really is a nice it sets everything in place it's not too mattifying it gives you a really nice like kind of a natural finish to your skin i really do like this powder and it does blur just a little bit nothing like too intense um i do have other powders that i prefer but this one is not a bad powder now the one product that i also try from mac is this bronzer right here and i absolutely hated the scent of it and i still do it just smells so 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 bad but the formula i mean is so good so i have been using it even though it smells disgusting i just can't even deal with the scent of it but the formula is so good that it just makes me want to use it because it doesn't linger like once the um, once you finish actually using it the scent is definitely not going to linger but my goodness I don't know what happened there i really don't know i don't know if i got a bad one but the formula i do gotta say that it is absolutely like so good so i'm like i don't know <laughs> i don't know 
<laughs> Another palette that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this one right here from Florisys. This is a whole brand that I actually tried and I absolutely fell in love with so many of their products and this one being included. This is a very nice contour shade for my skin tone. That is what I have on my skin today and I am also wearing a little bit of this blush. It's just so perfect. I actually use this yellow shade just to brighten things up under my eyes. Really nice beautiful formula this palette is like so gorgeous the packaging and the embossment of it is just so luxe it's definitely not weighty but it is so beautiful i mean all of the makeup that they send is just breathtaking i absolutely love this palette right here so i just wanted to make sure that you guys knew i am still like so in love with it i definitely have not stopped using it and another product that i have not stopped using is this one right here which is the highlighter that i am wearing today it is just so like finely mill it is not, not metallic it's not super obnoxious and in your face it's just so gorgeous and i also have like the setting powder but i don't have it with me it's like a really nice white setting powder but it doesn't give you any like white cast or anything but it's actually on my purse that one is definitely living there just because i have been reaching for it for like touch-ups and the highlighter again going back to it so nice and gorgeous another powder that i try for all over the skin is this one right here from bobby brown i really like really wanted to get this powder just because of the packaging and i thought that it was going to be all of that in a bag of chips but let me tell you it is not <laughs> it is not that special i don't think that it does like anything like wonders to my skin i think that it just sets the skin it gives you a really nice and natural glow but it's not like outstanding and again i just think that it's a little bit too hard pressed i don't feel like it does anything special again to my skin and for that that alone i just don't think that it's worth your money now going back to florists i did try this a cream and blush that is super 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 light it is really really nice and beautiful for every single day i don't know if you're going to be able to see the swatches right there it is so beautiful um really really nice formula have a zero complaints it actually works on set skin which is like my favorite formula of all time just because i do have to set my face in place and this works absolutely perfect really nice and beautiful for every single day another mac product that i actually try is this blush right here which i do have on top of that other blush from the palette from florists this one is called the cheeky beats bits extra dimension blush and it is so gorgeous so absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh my favorite and now that we're going into fall i think that it's still going to work out just because it does have like that orangey kind of like warmth to it is so absolutely stunning on the skin the formula for this from mac the extra dimension blushes are just so divine love them all right so quickly because i did actually purchase three blushes from the patrick ta this formula is a solid formula and i do have a three shades and i have a whole entire video dedicated like swatching all of these blushes for you guys i think this one is the deepest shade that i have in my collection and also one from pat mcgrath like really 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 close this one is absolutely gorgeous for like like that pinkiness that barbie kind of look this one has been the one that i have been reaching for the most just because it is like really nice like terracotta warmth pinkiness to your skin like for every single day this one is in the shade she's flushed and let me tell you it is perfect i am going to actually put it on my every single day drawer just because i want to reach for it a little bit more for the fall i think that is the perfect shade for fall don't you think oh my goodness so beautiful yeah i love it so let's go ahead and move on to some lip products this one right here went viral on tiktok and instagram i mean i could see it pretty much everywhere everyone was like wowing it and i thought that it was going to be like super amazing which it is because it makes your lips like shiny and 
they do not move this if you want shiny lips and you want it to stay shiny the whole entire time this one is definitely the way to go i think that it's a it's an okay formula it's just not for me this is definitely not for me i just rather reapply my lip glosses and that's it <laughs> now when it comes to florists i told you that i try lots of products including these right here these ones are like glossy tint for your lips it's a really nice beautiful formula i have zero complaint when it comes to the formula but oh my goodness the scent of roses have to go if the scent was not there i will definitely be reaching for this one's a non-stop because again the formula is just so beautiful it stays really nice and shiny and when the shine is gone it gives you a really nice beautiful tint but the scent of flower roses is just not my vibe it's just not for me and the last product that i wanted to talk to you guys about is this one right here which is the red lipstick from natasha denona and this one is in the shade I I can't even see it. I mean, the letters are so, so, so tiny. I can't even see it. I am going to link it down below. But let me tell you, this red is perfect for my skin tone. Okay, I absolutely love it. I got so many compliments in real life and with you guys on the comment section. I was just feeling myself with this red lip and I am not the one to wear like red lipsticks or like very bold lips. I try to stay with my nudes. That is just the way that i am but my goodness i am looking forward to wearing this lip again because it is really nice and comfortable super long lasting very nice and opaque it doesn't give you like the weirdness in the inner part of your lip and it just is so so good i mean i don't even think that i actually wore a lip liner it was just so amazing so yeah really nice formula from natasha denona i do have a coat by the way from natasha denona if you're still here it is a Jarrell 15. If you've never used my code before, you can actually use it and get a 15% discount. So that is it for this speedy review videos. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you next time. <laughs> bye. The little one is right here with me touching everything. All right, guys. Bye.